Hi guys, in this video I will tell you how to draw or construct a hypocyclad in AutoCAD 2007 version. The question will be something like this. Construct a hypocyclad, the rolling circle 50 mm diameter and directing circle is 175 mm diameter. Draw a tangent to it at a point 50 mm from the center of the directing circle. Name the curve, this is all everything. Here he has given directly the information that it is a hypocyclad. So if not, they would have given the information like something like directing circle is 175 mm diameter and rolling circle is 50 mm diameter and it is rolling inside the directing circle, they will be giving the information. So anyhow, the question is pretty straightforward. Let us go to the AutoCAD. So this is your AutoCAD. Now select a circle and draw 175 mm diameter. So I want to give the diameter, so I am pressing D and press enter. So this is 175 mm diameter. So this is circle with 175 mm diameter. Now I am drawing a straight line from here to here something like this and I am selecting another circle. At this point I am drawing a circle with how much diameter it is 25 mm radius because diameter is given as 50 mm here now that is the reason why I am taking it as 25 mm radius. So 25 mm press enter. Now select this circle and use move option with this as base point and move your circle or the mouse pointer until the end point or the center point of the base circle and press 25 and press enter. Then this circle is, uh, is come totally inside the direct ring circle. In the previous case that is in the epicyclic version this circle is moved outside 25 mm but here we are moving it inside 20 mm. Now the angle is, how much the angle is 360 into uh, R by R, we'll calculate it. So the theta is equal to 360 into R by R, that is 360 into R is how much here, the diameters are given here, 50 and 175, both are diameter value. So by 2 by 2 will be cancelled, so 50 by 175 can be written directly. So 50 divided by 175 and then close it. If you do it totally, it is 102.85, which is approximately 103 degrees. So therefore, where we can do is that we can select a line here and we can draw another line from this point to this point. Escape. Now select the secondly drawn line and use rotate command with this as base point, rotate it in clockwise direction. Since we are rotating it in clockwise direction, we have to give minus symbol, so minus 103 degrees, which is obtained because of 360 into R by R value. Then we are pressing enter. So this is the total 103 degrees line. So what we can do is that we can use the trim command. We can select all this and press enter. Whatever the unnecessary thing is there, we'll reselect it and it will be deleted. So this is the base thing. Now if you observe this. Here, this is the generating circle, uh, directing circle, and this is the generating circle. This is exactly opposite of the epicyclic. In the epicyclic, what happens? We will be having the generating circle at this point. So, here, if you observe carefully, the point is somewhere here. The, the point, whatever we are discussing, is here. that is capital P is here. Here, in the epicyclic case, what happens? This P will be somewhere here. So that is the main difference here, which will be very much important while you are selecting or while you are drawing the curve. So once this is finished, we will be drawing the, we will be dividing this inner circle into two equal parts. Therefore, I am drawing a straight line from here to here and use polar array, I will use array command and use polar array and select the object as this straight line which I have drawn now and press enter and center as this as the center and I will number of items as 12 and along 360 degrees then press ok. So this is the two parts of the circuit. Now use uh, circle command and draw a circle like this from this point to this point. As you can see these both are intersecting so no problem. So after this we can use offset command or we can use again circle command. I am using offset command here. Offset, select a through offset after pressing the offset, select offset distance it less. I will select a through and then select object. This is my object and through this point. Again this is my object through this point. This is my object and this is through this point. This is my object and this is through point. This is my object and finally this is the last one. This is the through. Escape. I am not drawing the center line. Center line will be drawn when I am talking about tangent. Now I am not using it. So select again trim command. I select all these things and press enter. What are the unnecessary things are there? Those are all unnecessary and those are all removed. Escape. So this is the base thing. If you talk perfectly, this is your main line, uh, main uh, directing line and this is your generating circuit. Remember that thing very much clearly. When you are talking about the division of this particular line, this one should be divided into also 12 equal parts. Therefore, the angle is 103 degrees, which if it is divided into 12 equal parts, automatically the lines will be coming. So, therefore, what we can do is that we can select array and we can select a polar array and select the object as this is my object 
and press enter and center point as this is my center point and number of items to be filled is 13 and angle is minus 103 degrees and then okay as you can see it is filled totally now just check the last one the last one is perfectly inside half inside and half outside so approximately whatever we are doing is correct so from the last we can delete it one two three four five and six this six will be deleted or is in a six so that it will not be clumsy uh, or else while you are giving the polar array only we can give seven items but the angle should be given half of this 103 it should not be given it should be given half of the 103 so why should we risk in that way simply we can use the same 103 and uh, directly 13 now it will be easy after that we will delete no problem so now as usual the first circle and the first line should be given a color it is from the above right from the uh, not from the below from the above we should come because this is your base circle in the Epicyclad what happens this one becomes your base circle so this one is taken as uh, the baseline and this one is your base circle so second first line and first point will be given a uh, same color but here this will be in the opposite direction so this one and this one will be given separate color and this one and third one and third one will be given another color and fourth one and fourth one will be given another color it's not necessary that we should give cars. If you are well good at uh, giving the names, it will be easy. But if you are getting confused because of the names and all things, it will become a little difficult for us to draw. For that sake, I am giving the car combination. So now select a PO enter. This is your first point. So this is your first point. Point is not visible. That means that format is not correct. So go to the point style and change the format and press OK. Now again repeat PO enter. The red red point should be highlighted. So this is your red red point. Then Repeat it yellow yellow, then green green, then cyan cyan, and then blue blue, and then after blue blue, it is magenta magenta, which is nothing but the midpoint. So, this is your midpoint that should be managed. So, the points are not visible to us perfectly. What we can do is that we can go to the point format point style and then press OK so that all points are visible to us. Now, use polyline command and select all these points and draw the perfect uh, curve perfect curve once this is finished you can use PE enter select this line use fit option so that it is fit perfectly after that select this line you can give the some line weight I'm giving 60 line weight and uh, also what we can do we can do the mirror image directly so we'll use mirror image select this line and press enter and uh, the midpoint should be selected perfectly and along this straight line if you select it automatically the second half is also drawn perfectly now if I press line weight, it will be visible perfectly. So this is about how you draw the hypercycle. So you have to remember that this is your baseline and this is your generating circle. So therefore, when you are giving the color combination codes from the top to bottom will come. Rather than like in the epicycloid and cycloid version, it will be in the opposite direction. So this is about uh, how you draw the hypercycle. Coming to the second half of the question, they are asking that draw a tangent to it at a point 50 mm from the center of the directing circle. So for, for that sake what we will do, we will select the circle and uh, we will select it from this point to 50 mm drawing radius. So this is the point. So PO and either this is the point or this is the point. Here also we have the intersection now. This is the point which will be 50 mm from this point, this center point. So here many circles are there. So if I take this point here, it will be a little clumsy. So I will select this side point only. So I will delete it. This is not necessary for me. I will delete it. Now even line weight also I am removing it at the final stage I will show it. So now everything is good. At this point I have to draw the tangent and normal. So basically what we will do from at this point we will draw a circle. At this point we will draw a circle with how much radius 25 mm because that is the radius of the generating circle. The 25 and press enter. So this is your circle. Now this one should be intersecting at the center point circle. But center point circle is not drawn here. So you have to draw the center point circle here. So select this point and up to the center point you have to go and select the, draw the circle. So this is your center point circle which should be drawn while you are draw, uh, talking about the tangent and normal. So trim command I am using, I am selecting all this and press enter. The extra thing is not necessary, you know, that one I am deleting. Now if you observe carefully, this white line and this white line are intersecting at one point. So that point is very much necessary for us. So escape, evo, enter. So this is the intersection point. So I am selecting that intersection point and pointing it out. So once that is finished, I'm deleting this unnecessary drawn circle. It means that basically this point is obtained from the question, which is 50 mm from the directing circle center. And 
once this is obtained on the center line we are drawing an arc which is cutting the center line with how much radius which 25 mm radius which is the generating circle radius so this point is obtained now we will draw a straight line from this point to this point and press enter but while we are talking about the epicyclad or cyclad what we have done we have taken the consideration of the baseline here the baseline is not touched still so therefore we have to extend the line what we have drawn so until this line we have to extend and this line should be extended so we have to extend up to this point now whatever the point is obtained here from that point if you draw a straight line until this line this becomes the normal and if you draw another straight line along this the second normal is also drawn so select that and press rotate option at this point as center and rotate it with 90 degrees so after that select the midpoint and keep it here so this one and this one these both are nothing but your tangent and normal and once this is finished, I am giving the line weight for it and I am using the line weight option. So this is your hypercyclic and this is your tangent and this is your normal. You can give the names along these things also. We can give multi-text. In this thing, we know two different things. One is diameter of this circle. That one should be shown. And also we know the diameter of this circle. That should also be shown, which is how much? 175. And we also know the information regarding this point. That point information can also be shown from this point to this point which is how much 50 mm that can also be shown and also we have calculated the value of the angle from this point to this point is calculated which is nothing but which is nothing but our 103 mm that is that angle from this point until this point it is 103 is it not showing okay this is 175 mm then okay this line i'll do one thing i'll remove this and i'll again give it angle between this line and this line it is 103 mm. Now I will give the diameter for this circle. This is 175 mm. Everything is shown here. Now we have to give the multi-text empty enter. We can give the information that it is an hypocycloid hypocycloid and uh, theta value. How did you get it? For giving theta will go to the at the rate symbol. Other in this will be having theta symbol. We will give the theta symbol and uh, we will write it is equal to how much 60 into r by r or d by d that is 50 by 175 whatever it is there those things will be run then press ok did you get it this is all shown here so this is how you draw the if you want to take the printout of it in a white paper with a black and white printer better we will select all these things and change it to single color by layer option and then use red and e and once this is finished then go to the layout option this is how it will be looking like i will do one thing i will move it a little this side everything is fit inside enough if you want you can check the file plot check the iso a4 paper size is only there so okay well and good everything is good then we can go for uh, file and save as uh, plot and hence here we can go with the drawing to pdf.pc3 and then press ok so that it will be changed to our um, uh, pdf format or else we can also save it like this then it will be saved in .dwg file format so that is how you draw the hypocyclate in the autocad 2007 version right